Hey, this is Amy from Motif Music Studios, and today we get to chat about this resource. This is the Wonder Keys Intermediate Pop Studies for piano for students that are eager to learn music that they love. One thing I love about this resource is it not only highlights different scale techniques, teaches you how to do the scales and the triads, but then it showcases a really beautiful piece that uses those tools to create music. On top of that, it has rhythm, um, lap tap clap type of interactive rhythm options, and it has an improvised piece. So today in this video, we will be starting at the beginning with a C major piece. I will go over the, let me just flip here for a second. I'm going to be going over this cool piece called 17, a pop pattern study, and I will play the left hand so that you can jump in with the right hand with the C major five finger scale. So we'll go over that. And then you'll also be listening to the piece called Dreamer. So Dreamer's pages six and seven. You'll want to order this book from Amazon if you're working alongside your teacher or if you're one of my students. Then this piece is called Dreamer and it's a C major scale study. So I can't wait to get started. I hope you can listen in to Dreamer and then practice improvising using the C major five finger scale with the song called 17. So thanks for being here. Hope you have fun listening in. I'd love to hear from you in the comments if you have any questions or let me know what song you'd love to learn next. We'll see you next time. I have been jumping into the e Intermediate Wonder Keys Pop Studies for Piano. I'll show you the book right here so you can take a peek for yourself. This is book one and you can order this on Amazon. It is a fantastic companion to their performance book. And this book we've already chatted about in this video so we're just going to dive in. Page four and five are what you're going to be looking at. And we're just going to um, highlight the scales today. This is C major, hands separate, hands together, and in contrary motion. And once you have that tackled, the next piece called Dreamer is going to be so much fun to showcase your technique and also play songs that you'll love the sound of. So when we look at scale technique, we want to make sure that our bodies are comfortable and well balanced at the piano. For me, that also means having my feet firm on the floor that you can't see right now so that I can rock back and forth comfortably and feel stable on the bench. I also like to remind students this can be trickier depending on your setup at home, but you don't want the piano too high or too low, um, especially too high makes gravity pull against your wrist and it can cause a lot of discomfort if you're trying to raise your shoulders to play. So those are the basics of getting started with some healthy technique and also feeling your body in space. Does your hands feel comfortable? Do your arms and shoulders feel comfortable? So working alongside a teacher or listening into technique tips along the way is a really great way to set yourself up for success. Next, we're going to be putting our hands on the keyboard. We're going to be talking about the C major scale. So we're starting here on C and we're going to use a two octave scale. So if you've already learned your one octave scales, that's fantastic. This one, we're going to be looking at some special fingering. So we're going to go one, two, three. Then you're going to tuck your thumb to the F one. So that means that you'll have enough fingers to do the next section. The next grouping is going to be F, G, A, B. And then you're going to tuck your thumb again so that it's freed up to play the next grouping of C, D, E. Tuck to F again. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to play that slowly so you can see the fingering and you can practice that. You can always pause this video and practice it before starting the next section. So here we go. So you can see that I gradually shifted my weight to my right side as I moved up the keyboard. I was feeling some pressure in my leg to stay balanced and that made sure that my arms weren't at a funny angle when I was trying to do 
those thumbtacks. So that's something to keep in mind as you go. Also, the pattern was three, so tuck after three, tuck after four, tuck after three. So three, four, three is the thing I tell my students to remember for that right hand. Then going down, we went all the way to our thumb, and then we went three, four, and then three again. So it had that three, four, three in the right hand. Now we're gonna leap over to the left hand and we're keeping this fast and snappy. So here's middle C, we're gonna go down to lower C and then go down lower again to this really low, beautiful C if your keyboard is enough octaves. So this one we're gonna play five fingers first. We're gonna go five, four, three, two, one, three, four, three. So you can see it's still three, four, three, but you're gonna go to your thumb first. So again, when you get to the top, it's gonna change. It's gonna go one, two, three, tuck, two, three, four, tuck, two, three, tuck. So that again was three, four, three. So if you remember that something has to happen after three and four and three, that's gonna be helpful. If you need a visual, you can use this book. Andrea has it all laid out really beautifully with great explanations to get your scale technique right on track. So after you've learned them separately in the book, you can start learning them hands together and you would go so slow when you do that. So it's really, really slow, gives your brain time to think because your hands are doing different tucks at different times. I also love that they've introduced the contrary motion scale because that one is so much fun to play. So that one goes one, two, three, tuck, two, three, four, tuck, two, three, tuck. Pack to your thumbs, three, four, three. So that one's actually easier to do than the hands together in parallel motion is to get that um, contrary motion scale learned. And you can start again at a really slow speed and then move it along as you go. So thanks for listening today. I hope that you are working alongside this awesome resource and I can't wait to show you the listen through the playthrough of the piece in C major that's going to help you pull all those technique ideas together and get started for a great year of music making ahead. Thanks for listening in. Don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to learn more music just like this. Okay, so you are working through this book here, Wonder Keys Intermediate Pop Studies for Piano, and this is a piece called 17, a pop pattern study. It's on page 13 for you listening along at home and interacting with this material. So Andrea Dow, the composer, has done a really neat thing. She has suggested 
some rhythms at the top where you can make up your own piece using the C major five finger scale, which is this one. So it goes. You can play that anywhere your ears like the sound of and you can use those rhythms in your book to create a song using those rhythms but today I'm also going to play the left hand here so that you can just play along and actually improvise use these notes in any order to play the song so when you hear this next audio track you'll hear a C coming in four times like this one two three Four, then you'll hear me play and when that happens you'll be making up sounds using those five notes so if I was to do that it might sound like this I went off script a bit because that's what music making's all about. So anyways, this is 17, a pop pattern study. It's up next in this video. So hang tight, run to a keyboard, get ready to play along any C major five finger scale notes to make a really beautiful duet with you and me. How fun is that? So thanks for joining in today and let me know if you'd like more videos just like this by liking this video. You can subscribe and if you know others who are using this resource, feel free to share and have other people making even more music in the new year as well. Thanks for listening.